Dr. House. I just wanted to... You're welcome again. I want you to know how much I... Got it. You're grateful. Apparently, you seem to think it'll mean a lot to me to know that. Do you know why people pray to God? I thought you didn't believe in God. I don't. Well, then you better be making a very good point. Do you think they pray to him and praise him because they want him to know how great he is? God already knows that. Are you comparing me to God? I mean, that's great, but just so you know, I've never made a tree. I thank you because it means something to me to be grateful for what I receive. You are the most naive atheist I've ever met. Dr. House, you have a patient in room one. Thank God. People pray so that God won't crush them like bugs. I'm not gonna crush you. Second AIDS test? Standard procedure. Oh, well, that's you, Mr. Standard Procedure. You suspected the first test was a false positive? I knew he was going to Africa, and I figured he was vaccinated for hep A and B. That could cause a false positive. Yeah, but you knew that before you ordered the first test. What changed? I should have ordered both. You were sure he had AIDS. Then you talked to him, then you had doubts. What, what did he say? He said he had not engaged in any risky behavior. Huh. And you believed him? He didn't have any reason to lie. Everybody lies except politicians. House, I believe you're romantic. You didn't just believe him, you believed in him. Do you want to come over tonight and watch old movies and cry? Dr. Cameron's getting to you. Well, I guess you can't be around that much niceness and not get any on you. Is that why you haven't put the moves on her? What makes you think I haven't put the moves on her? Oh. Oh, boy. You're in trouble. up you like me why that's kind of a sad question just trying to figure out what makes you tick I am not warm and fuzzy and you are basically a stuffed animal made by grandma I don't think that's why you're asking I think this is because of the speech God, don't try and pick me apart. Then this. why are you asking? What do you want to hear? Sorry. Should have taken an extra couple of Vicodin just held my nose. I'm guessing you did take a couple extra Vicodin. True. You don't need to worry about firing anyone. I'm leaving. Why? Is this another noble, self-sacrificing gesture? Trying to protect Foreman? No. So this is just, don't fire me, I quit. I'm protecting myself. You asked me why I like you. You're abrasive and rude. But I figured everything you do, you do it to help people. 
But I was wrong. You do it because it's right. It's okay to think about it. It's okay to not even start. There are only two ways that I can deal with things. One is in my control. That's to leave. Goodbye, house.